Hi, welcome to the first ever edition of B36 Video News. I'm Bandit36, and as you can tell by the quality of this video, I am not a professional journalist. I'm in no way trained in anything even remotely related to journalism. I just happen to be a guy with a camera, a computer, and enough motivation to get the job done. For those who don't know me, I'm currently deployed to Baghdad, specifically the International Zone, which is commonly referred to as the Green Zone by the media. Uh, you can see it here. Now, without putting too fine a point on it, my uh, job here is involved with telecommunications. While uh, my family right now is back in Germany, my beautiful wife just gave birth to our son, Mark. As I mentioned earlier, I am not a professional journalist, and though I am a soldier, the things I say here are just my opinion and observations. That being said, I will at all times keep OPSEC in mind. OPSEC is what we do to make sure that we don't give bad guys pieces of information that they can put together to figure out what we're doing and use against us. I'm doing this because I'm lucky enough to be here in Iraq seeing the good that we're doing here firsthand. And uh, like everyone else out there, I'm bombarded every day with negative headlines from the mainstream media. And, uh, after seeing the discrepancy between what was reported and what's really going on on the ground, I decided it was time someone start putting out some good news about the things that are going on here in Iraq. News that shows the progress we're making over here. Something other than body counts and the car bombs that flood network news channels. And now that the formalities are out of the way, let's get on with the good news. First off, Major General Caldwell is going to run down a short list of some of the things that we've accomplished here in the last two years. The time it takes a child to sit up, talk, walk, laugh, Iraq has established a constitutionally based, permanent, democratic government with the votes of over 12 million citizens and the efforts of even more. In this brief time, Iraq has trained and equipped 268,000 security forces, increased school enrollments by one-third, increased the number of judges almost fourfold, and now provides safe drinking water to almost three million more people. Indicative of Iraq's emergence as a free and open society with an eye towards the millennium, Iraq in two years has increased phone cell coverage from about 1.2 million people to 7.4 million people, has gathered internet subscribers from about 73,000 to over 200,000, and has embraced the free media growing from 13 TV stations to over 50 from 74 radio stations to over 100, and from 150 newspapers to over 260. In another press conference held here in Baghdad, General Caldwell talked specifically about operational statistics. Operational statistics keep track of how many operations there have been on the ground here and what mix of Iraqi and coalition forces there have been on those operations. Now, the idea here is to get more Iraqi security forces in the mix and operating independently so that they can assume responsibility for the security of their own country. Now what you see here is a statistic showing that between the 21st and the 28th of June, Iraqi security forces participated in 93% of all of the operations in Iraq. And not only that, they conducted more than one-third of the operations independently of coalition support. Now this scoreboard here shows exactly what was gained by conducting those 486 operations. Keeping in mind here that one-third of these operations were conducted exclusively by Iraqi forces. Now as the ISF continues to step up and kick terrorist butt, you're going to see more and more stories like this one out of Muthana, Iraq's second largest province. As you know, Muthana, deep in southern Iraq, will soon become the first province in which Iraqis, specifically the governor, will be in charge of Iraqi security forces and, of course, the security for all the Iraqi people who live there. He will assume the day-to-day -day responsibility not only for the governance of there, but the overall responsibility for law enforcement and security. It's a huge step. Stop. Wait a second. Look how many of those seats in that room are empty. Here we are trying to tell people about this wonderful thing that we're getting ready to do over here, and no one wants to hear it. The map that you see here shows the progress for each of Iraq's 18 provinces as they move towards assuming responsibility for their own security. The determination of each of these provinces' status is made by a council that includes the government of Iraq and the MNFI commander. Now there are four areas that contribute to each region's status. Threat level, status of the Iraqi security forces, 
governance and status of MNFI forces. Now as we continue to make this kind of progress, hopefully you'll be seeing more and more of this kind of story in the mainstream media. On my blog I recently posted a story about a soldier who survived getting shot in the head. Luckily he had his helmet on and that protected him from the bullet. We here weren't exactly sure if that was uh, proof enough, so we decided to come up with some innovative testing techniques of our own. Well, that's all the news we have for this time. If you have any suggestions or comments you want to make, go ahead and give me an email. I know the producer. I can pull some strings. And if you're wondering where I get my videos from, you, they're freely available online. All you got to do is go to dvids.com or mnf-iraq.com. This is Bennett36, out.